Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. I am Neha Pajani. So in today's session, we are going to discuss how to find out new profit sharing ratio in case of admission of a partner in a partnership firm. So this is the second part of the video. In the first part, we have already discussed the concept of new profit sharing ratio as well as two problems relating to it. So if you have not watched the previous video yet, its link will be provided in the description box below or at the end of this video. So I would recommend you to first go and check out the first part then come back to this one. So in today's session we are going to solve two more problems relating to new profit sharing ratio because you should be able to find it out in different types of questions asked by you in the examination. So the third problem is A, B and C are partners sharing profits in 2 is to 2 is to 1 ratio admitted D for 1 by 8th share which he acquired entirely from A. So basically here in this case there are three part they were three partners uh, and their profit sharing ratio is given okay and they are admitting D as a new partner in the firm. So uh, D should be given 1 by 8th share of the profits which he totally uh, acquired from A okay so here A is only the sacrificing partner. So we are asked to calculate new profit sharing ratio. Okay. So first of all what we need to do is we need to write the old ratio solution old ratio of our, all the partners that is 2 is to 2 is to 1. It is nothing but 2 by 5 is to 2 by 5 and 1 by 5 right total is 2 plus 2 plus 1 is 5 right. So 2 parts out of 5 will belong to A. And again 2 parts out of 5 will belong to B and 1 part out of 5 will belong to C. Okay, this is the old ratio. Now here only A is sacrificing. Here A is sacrificing. Okay, so now we know the form formula for new profit sharing ratio, right? So new ratio is equal to old ratio minus sacrificing ratio so here we need to find out only for a right so a's old ratio was 2 by 5 and when we deduct 1 by 8th share of d we will get it as see here the denominator is not same but we want the same denominator right so we will get an lcm lcm will be 40 so 5 into 8 times is 40 and 8 into 5 times is 40. Okay. Now 2 into 8 is 16 is 2. Sorry. Minus 1 into 5 is 5. Right. So here our ratio will be 11 divided by 40. This is what we get. Okay. Now ratio of A, B, C and D will be A's ratio is 11 by 40 and B's ratio is already given that is 2 by 5. There are no changes in the old ratio of B and C. So write it, write it as it is. 2 by 5, 1 by 5 and again D's ratio is also given that is 1 by 8. Okay, 1 by 8. Now here again the denominator is not same for everyone right. So we need a common denominator here. So LCM again will be 40. So 40 into 1 times will be 40. 5 into 8 times will be 40 again into 8 and 8 into 5 times will be 40 ok so 11 into 1 will be 11 is to 2 into 8 will be 16 is to 1 into 8 will be 8 and 5 into 1 will be 5 ok so this is the new profit sharing ratio 11 is to 16 is to 8 is to 5 ok and when you total all this the number should be 40 Okay, so this is how we find out the new profit sharing ratio when only one partner is sacrificing. So the next question is A and B were partners in a firm sharing profits in 3 is to 2 ratio. They admitted C for 3 by 7 share which he took to 2 by 7 from A and 1 by 7 from B. So here there were two partners in this case. Their profit sharing ratio is given. This one is the old profit sharing ratio. Right. Now they admitted C as a new partner. So C's total share is given. That is 3 by 7. So it is told that he 
takes 2 by 7 of the share from A and 1 by 7 of the share from B. Okay. And again, we are asked to calculate new profit sharing ratio. Okay. So, first of all, let's write down the old ratio of partners. Old ratio is equal to 3 by 5 is to 2 by 5. So, again 3 plus 2 is 5, right? So, 3 out of 5 parts will belong to A and 2 out of 5 parts will belong to B. Okay? Now, C's total share is 3 by 7. Okay? And he acquires from A that is 2 by 7 and from B 1 by 7. Right? This is given in the question. Right? Now, we know the formula for new ratio, right? So, that is old ratio minus sacrificing ratio. Right? Now, we will calculate first for A. Okay? A's old ratio is 3 by 5 minus A is sacrificing 2 by 7th share of its profits. Okay? Now, here again the denominator is not common. So, but we want a common denominator. So, we will make the LCM of this. LCM of this will be 35. So, 5 into 7 times will be 35 and 7 into 5 times will be 35. Right? So, 7 into 3 is 21 minus 2 into 5 is 10. Okay? So, we will be left with 11 divided by 35. Okay? In the same case, let's find for B as well. B is equal to B's old ratio is 2 by 5. Minus he is sacrificing 1 by 7th share of the profits. Okay. So, again the denominator will be 35. LCM of 5 and 7 will be 35. So, 7, 5 into 7 times is 35 and 7 into 5 times is 35. 2 into 7 is 14. Minus 5 into 1 is 5. Okay. Is that clear? So, that will be 9 divided by 35. Okay. So, now let's write down. Ratio of A and B and C. Okay. A's ratio is this one. 11 divided by 35. And is to 9 divided by 35. B's ratio. And C's ratio that is given is total ratio. Total share is 3 by 7. Okay. Now here again the denominator is not common. Now again we need to find the LCM of all these. So LCM of these will be 35 itself. So, 35 into 1 times will be 35. 35 into 1 times is 35. And 7 into 5 times is 35. Okay. 11 into 1 is 11. Is to 9 into 1 is 9. And 3 into 5 is 15. Okay. So, this is the new profit sharing ratio of A, B and C. So, A is to B is to C is equal to 11 is to 9 is to 15. Okay, so when you total all this, the answer should be 35. So this is how we find the new profit sharing ratio in different types of questions asked in your examination. Okay guys, so this was all about today. If you found this helpful, please hit the like button. Also subscribe to my channel. Hope to see you in my next video. Till that, happy learning.